Hello everybody, JT Bear here in my little aquaponic greenhouse on a beautiful fall day. Just thought we'd do a really quick follow-up to that whole pH meter that I picked up the other day. I uh, totally fouled my tests by not rinsing it in between, and uh, this time I've got some tap water to do just that, and to give us the opportunity to find out just what the tap water is reading for its pH when I put it into the systems. So let's get started. Alright, so right away I'm already a little nervous about this thing. I've heard uh, lots of rumors one way and the other about better store it wet or it's going to get screwed up, things like that. But I'm going to put it back. Here I've got a little baby food jar from that peas thing. Just going to put it into the vinegar, shake it around a bit. And that's still reading what we calibrated at. Hopefully this shows up in the camera. But I've got a solid 2.4 there. So that's excellent. I'm just going to rinse it off here in the tap water. Make a mess of my table. Fill that up again. But, while I've got my tap water here, let's just take a look and see what that reads at. Stir it around a little bit so it can read a little faster. Thanks for that bit of advice. It seems so logical when you say it out loud. Well, it's up to a 7, so really I guess that's not so bad. I'll give that a minute and get back to you with the final reading. Alright, so it seems to have stabilized itself at 7.3 for the tap water. So, at least now we know what that's starting at. Let's check what's going on in the no power tank behind us. Alright, so let's grab my little cup here. Now, this time, the last thing the meter was in was tap water, so if it was fouled by the uh, vinegar, then, you know, we'll know that now. And once again, I'm just going to give that a minute to sit, and we'll get back to it and see what it says. Alright, well this jumped to 7.5, and it has just plain stayed there. So... Clearly, I'm going to need to test the water a few more times. It is about midday right now. But, what was it? Uh, 4.9 when I tested it uh, without rinsing after the vinegar? I think the lesson here is, let's never forget there's always room for me to screw things up. But, still, what can I say? I was excited, I wanted to try, I wanted to calibrate it, find right out. And, uh, you know, foolishness is still just foolishness all the same, isn't it? Alright, so I'm going to check that uh, reading a couple more times with a few different samples from that same tank and see what we get as an average. I'll get back to you. Hopefully this will show up through the glare, but once again, 7.5. Well, that sounds a whole lot better than 4.9, doesn't it? Let's see what the other tank is reading at. Reach on down here through the duckweed. Nice full looking sample cup. Alright. Make sure I rinse off that meter in the tap water here. And let's see how this system is doing. Well, 6.5 for now. I'll let it sit. We'll see where it goes. Well, that seems to be uh, sitting at pretty much 6.5. I believe it was 6 when I measured it the other day. Going to do a second test again just to uh, make sure it stays consistent. Alright, well, that second reading I took directly in the tank and it read at a solid 6.5 as well. Double checked it back in the no power tank where it slowly climbed back up to 7.5. I think it's safe to say at this point that I fouled my initial sets of tests by simply being too eager. That being said, I'm no longer anywhere near as worried about the pH values in my tank. And I've got a lot more to learn about anyway. Stick around everybody while I learn a little bit more about what I need to monitor in my water quality, just so I can have a slightly more scientific approach to my aquaponic greenhouse. As always, this is JT Bear signing off saying thanks for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.